Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in this video, we are going to be going over the daily challenges, but we're also going to be making some money, XP, and some gold. So that's what this whole video is going to be about, is about making those three things. So let's go ahead and get started with the daily challenges, because every day that's what we do. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out what we got for today. We got complete one biggest fish contest. We have to pick five burdock roots picked. We have to skin five chickens. Pick five English mace. All right. Update one horse appearance. Five non-player enemies killed while in Deadeye. And then three player kills in free roam events. All right. Well, I'm kind of glad that I'm actually down in the tumbleweed area because we can actually run up to Rostellar Fort to get this the chicken skinned english mace is going to be kind of by real bravo let's see what else we got we can update our horse appearance actually in tumbleweed too because there is a stable we can actually get three of them done pretty much right here now i'm trying to think of exactly where the location that i'm at right now oh my gosh i am literally right next to rostellar fort okay perfect Perfect. That is awesome. All right, let's just go ahead and make our way over to Rostellar Fort, which is right here. Oh, wow. I can't even believe how easy that was. All right, we're going to get a little bit of... What do we got here? We got a condor. I might as well collect that guy. What do we got here? We got a hawk, and we got a vulture there. There we go. Oh, Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, making some money, guys. Oh, yeah. We love making money. We'll take this condor. I don't really care about the carcass. I just want its feathers. The feathers is what makes me a ton of moolah. $1.50 a piece. That's not really that bad. You think about it, it's 4 bucks. Four fifty. Plus, you get the flight feathers, and then you're going to get some, uh, some gamey bird meat as well, which... Uh, think I might have maxed out right now. So we're going to have to sell that to the butcher because we actually never, ever have a daily challenge around that. So let's go ahead and pluck this guy as well. And then we can go after the lot of chickens because we want to get as much money as possible. Looks like we got some ravens flying overhead. But we, yeah, we will lose a little bit of honor by doing this, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and kill La Chicken, which is right here. La chicken and la chicken. Yes, I know I'm going to get a little bit of slaughtering, but we're going to go ahead and skin these guys. Skinny skin the chickens because who doesn't like to have some bagok chicken for supper? I mean, that's what we're going to have here in Red Dead Online. Maybe in real life too. That sounds delicious, actually. All right, let's go ahead and make our way over to this other chicken here. Ooh, we got plump. Oh, that's right. We get plump bird meat from the chickens as well. So we can restock up a little bit on that. I think I only have a couple that I would have, and then I would be completely filled up on it, so. Yep, another one there. And let's go chicken, and let chicken. Yes, I know I'm slaughtering the chickens. We're butchering them. We're making them edible for everybody else to have. So these are, obviously, the Rostellar Fort is going to be one of the best locations. And uh, I, I, th I think this, this place is amazing for making money. And whatnot here, so this is pretty awesome. And then we gotta just go after one more la chicken. And I see one right there by the pup dog. We we just we just don't want to shoot the dog. That's that's just not what we're here for. There we go. Perfect. See you later, chicken. Bye. Bye. All right, uh, let's go ahead and grab this one. And this is going to be our first one all said, done, and complete. We're going to make, you know, 0. 0.4 gold, depending on where you guys are at for your daily challenge streak. And then we're going to get 200 XP. So I'm getting money from, obviously, collecting the the feathers, the meat. Um, and then we're getting gold from completing the daily challenge. And we're getting the XP from completing it as well. So depending on how many daily challenges you guys actually complete each and every day it's a great way to make money gold and xp all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna ride down to tumbleweed and then we, we got another online player right here see he is he's got the exact same idea that i have go to ross teller fort for the chickens i really don't know why i say the chickens i just call it i just call chickens la chickens i just i just do it i don't know why i just don't know why all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the stable here in Tumbleweed, and we 
are going to update our horse appearance very quickly. And then we're going to move on to the next location. All right, so I am over at the stable. We're going to go ahead and give ourselves... Why is that guy angry with me? I didn't do anything to him. He was showing up red. Interesting. We're going to go ahead and update our horse appearance by going to tech and services appearance. And then I've already got a couple mains purchased. So I'm actually just going to change and see if you look at it. I can actually own this one. So all we have to do is actually update it. It's going to process. I don't know. For me, it seems like it takes a while to process. And I get stuck on this screen. But you can see that I got my gold and my experience points. Unfortunately, this specific daily challenge is not making me any money. But it's going to take a while for this to process. But if you guys are experiencing like really crazy long processing times like I am, then please leave a comment down below because I would love to know if I'm the only one experiencing this issue or if other people are as well. All right, so I just got two of the non-player enemies killed. I really don't know why they were my enemies. I All I did was run into the stable, just got to the stable Right before I was updating my horse appearance and these guys were just kind of chilling there and then I came out and they were still angry at me. So I decided that since they were red, I may as well complete the part at least one of the challenge or a portion of one of the challenges by killing five non-player enemies with while in dead eyes. So that's why I decided to do that real quick. But I'm going to go off to the next location and I'm going to let you guys know exactly where we're going to be going here. And we're actually going to be going down to the Rio, Rio Bravo area, which is right about here. And we're going to go ahead and pick some English mace. I'm going to show you guys all the different locations that are down there uh, right here in just a moment. I've made it to Rio Bravo area. So let's go ahead and find some of this English mace that we're actually looking for. So let's go ahead and use our eagle eye. And we got some actually right here in front of us. Actually, this looks like might be... Nope, no, it's English mace. Perfect. I thought maybe it was at time for a moment there. But there is some actually right here on the side of the road. I believe there should be some more back that way a little bit as well. There should be... It's so hard to see in the desert at at during the day. Is that... I can't tell if that's English Mace right here. That might have been the location that I was thinking of. Yes, it is. All right, perfect. So this is the other location that you guys can pick some at. So this is going to be four for me. And then I'm going to show you guys a couple of little locations here real quickly as well. All right, once my character decides to pick that up, perfect. Oh, man, we we love making money. We love making money in Red Dead Online. Of course we do. Who doesn't? That's why you kind of play any of these games, and well, that's why you get the gold as well. All right, there should be some more, like, right in this general area. I think it's up here just a little bit further, if I remember right. Let's see. It should be right here. It's so hard to see, though. There it is. Perfect. So here's another English mace area as well. So that's, well, in my case, I actually found, you know, seven of them right away. And there's actually some more right over there. You can see it. So that's eight and nine. So it should be some decent amounts of locations. You guys should have no problem finding English mace right in this area. So I'm, again, I'm going to show you guys on the map exactly where I'm located. But yeah, it was pretty much, the first location was just a little bit up here from the horse. The second one was right where my horse is at. The other one was like right here. And then another grouping right where I'm standing. So four different locations, maybe five, all in right in this vicinity. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to run all the way up to uh, Thieves Landing. Um, another good place for this to go, but I'm kind of making my way. Obviously, we started at Rothstellar 4, went to Tumbleweed, went to Rio Bravo. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go all the way over to Thieves Landing because that's going to be the easiest place to get a ton of enemies, non-player enemies on me. And then I can kill them while in Deadeye. And then I think the last thing that we're going to do is go pick some burdock roots. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to ride all the way up to Thieves Landing. And you guys will, I'll be back in just a moment. But if you guys don't want to go to Thieves Landing, another really good location is up in Van Horn. That's a great location to go to for the non-player enemies. Otherwise, you know, just make people mad at you and have a good old time. It's fun. You know, that's what we're here for. We're, we're here to have fun in Red Dead Online, and that's why we play it. So let's go ahead and make our way up to Thieves Landing and get this challenge completed. Well, we've made it to Thieves Landing, and along the way, I accidentally, uh, while well, in cinematic mode here, I uh, basically nailed somebody and caused another one of our uh, non-player enemies to happen. So I actually have three now. <laughs> so... I killed him on the way up here, so I only have to really get two, so that's really all I need to do to get this all completed. So we're just going to go ahead and do that real quick. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and do this. 
we got that one there. And there we go. And that should be all I really need to do, and that should be done. Okay, well, we gotta go before I die. Or we are just gonna die. I just got completely annihilated. That's fine. We got our gold. That's all that really matters. I don't really care about anything else. What? My controller is definitely connected. Well, that's strange. <laughs> Please reconnect your controller. Okay. Well, that's kind of odd. Let's restart my controller then, I guess. Interesting. Same controller. All I did is take the battery pack out of it. Interesting. Well, whatever. It worked. So now they're they're all saying they're all kinds of uh, pissy with me now. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fly through town because that's just what we're gonna do. Get out of my way, people! Holy cow! I should. <laughs> Holy cow! That was awesome. Well, guys, I was actually on my way to pick some burdock roots, and I got a gang ambush location to uh, to pop up for me, and I was able to recover a treasure map, which I was pretty stoked about. So not only did I make some experience points from killing those guys and a few other things, but I also am going to make some decent money and gold from the treasure map that I actually obtained. So I actually got the, let's see, which one was it? It was the Hawks Eye Creek. I don't think I've ever had that one before. So I don't even know where that's at. Hawks Eye Creek. I'm trying to think of where that would even be located. And I have no idea. But anyway, we're going to the Burdock location right now. So I'll be I'll be back with you guys in just a jiffy. Well, all right, everyone. We made it to the location that I needed to be at for the Burdock route. So there's going to be a whole bunch in this area. Uh, there should be some, like, right here, there should be some right here, maybe some right here, and then some up right, right up in this general area. There's, like, a couple different patches right here, but we got some right in front of me, and I believe we just need to actually pick five of them, so I already have some in my inventory. So I'm gonna grab these right here. There's actually already, there's four locations for me right here, which is amazing. And then there definitely is gonna be some on the other side of the river bank over there, which is great. So just a little bit uh, south of Valentine, I probably should have showed you guys a little bit better on the map so you guys can actually see exactly the location that I'm at. And just letting you know that I actually did complete all of these daily challenges in less than one entire game day. So it took an actual recording, took me about 30 minutes to actually do all of these, but I didn't fast travel at all, and I'm sure that you guys probably will. But depending on where you guys are at and where you guys are, where you're, what you're doing, you guys should be able to do this relatively quickly and make some decent amount of money doing that. So we're gonna go ahead and find this last one, which is right here in front of me. And there we go. Between those two locations, you guys should have enough. Otherwise, like I said, there's gonna be some more down that area and also across the river bank over there. But that is five for me picked, and I think that's pretty much all that I'm actually going to do with today's challenges because I'm not really going to do the biggest fish contest and I probably won't do the kill three players in a free roam event unless I happen to finally get invited one but I spent a half an hour recording this and I still haven't got an invite for any of the free roam events yet so I don't know why I don't get in very often but I just don't otherwise getting three kills in a free roam event is actually really really easy especially if you can get like master bow hunter or master bow or whatever it's actually called bow master something like that and that one's pretty easy because there's like a huge timer before the event even starts. And you can actually just run around killing each other. And that's honestly what a lot of people really do with that event anyway. But that is all the time that I have for in today's video. If you guys did enjoy it in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. But hopefully you guys make a ton of money, gold, and experience points by doing this as well. And until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>